Hey there everyone, this is another tutoring video where we'll now go through a time related question. If you'd like this sort of tutoring yourself, please take a look at the Google form in the description of this video and fill it out and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can also send an email to approachatpl at gmail.com but the form is going to be a bit quicker and easier. All right, cool. So we've got, given that sunrise, so yeah, there's a time related question. It says, given that sunrise occurs at 6.02 standard time at, you know, some Chinese airport with that, um, those yeah. coordinates, what is the time of sunrise in standard time at another Chinese airport, assuming that they are in the same time zone? Okay. So. How do you think we do this? So, I mean, first tell me, what does standard time mean? Like the local time, uh, based on the... So there is another one, which is local mean time, and that's different from standard time. No. So I'll show you a standard time map. Here is a standard time map, right? Uh, hang on, there we go. Okay. So standard time zones is what the humans created, yeah? To make yeah. you know trade commerce living life easier for example uk all of one time china is all of one time yeah yeah this is better for trade and commerce i think this is better for the people when you've got more yeah um, i think even india they tried doing it and then mm, it got messed up yeah because india is you know five and between five and six hours so all of india yeah. is five and a half hours away from here yeah, yeah. yeah. but anyway so yeah, standard time is what the government sort of decides for that country or that time zone, yeah? Right. Lo local mean time is actually like a spectrum, okay? So, like, for example, I'm in the UK, London. The local mean time in London is going to be different to Birmingham. Birmingham is slightly to the west, yeah? Right. And it's going right. to be a few minutes off the local mean time, yeah? Right. Um, so you want to know what time the sunrise would be in... In standard time. Coming. Yeah, in standard time. Yeah. Mm. So, because what, what that basically means is that we can see that um, the international airport is um, 110 degrees east and yeah. the other airport is 102 degrees east. So, yeah. which one is going to get the sunrise first? Um, first one on the, the, the second one. So, have you heard of the sun rises in the east, sets in the west? Yeah. Yeah. So, that means the more east it is, the earlier it's going to rise. Earlier. Oh, okay. You know, India's, yeah. in, India's in the future. Yeah. Yeah. And America's yeah. in the past. Yeah. So, they get the sun before we do. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so, this That's the sun is going to be enough. earlier here. Okay? Yeah. And then that means it's going to rise later over here because this is less east. Okay. Right. Yeah. So if it's later, that means we know that at least one of these answers is incorrect. Which one's wrong? Uh, if it's later, then five thirty-four is wrong. Yeah. And Charlie's wrong as well. I think. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We can work it out. Cool. Um. Yeah. But then we need to work out. Well, how do we do that based on the um? change in well the change in longitudes do you know how to convert time um uh, i forgot man I, I used to know yeah you're gonna have to hit the banks hard i mean the questions that we're yeah. going through now these are all from greece yeah. I, I just i looked at the greece exam questions well you know the last 200 well, i don't know what age they showed up in greece so all of those these ones you know yeah. likely to come up but there's a a formula when you're trying to convert times between this and lo like local mean time and stuff like that. Um, okay. When it's based on the longitudes, we like, like with the, um, we know when we're doing the distances, for okay. example, two degrees, 20 minutes north or whatever, we okay. start with that number. Yeah. So we start literally where we're starting at. So we're going to be zero six hours and two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I can write it like this as well, you know, Six degrees, two minutes yeah. as well. It, it's the same sort of thing. You put it in your calculator the same as well. Yeah. You, yeah. 
And then we need to think, okay, um, because the sun rises later in the second airport, are we going to yeah. add or subtract our change in time? It's later, so you uh, think you have to add it. Yeah, you would add. Yeah. Yeah. And then we need to sort of do our conversion sort of thing, which is where for how many degrees is an hour, okay? So okay. let me bring up this map again, right? You see this map here? And yeah. um, for example, you see here, that that has got a certain amount of width to it yeah yeah and the way it's meant to be is 15 degrees so okay. every every hour is 15 degrees so there's zero hours there's one hour there's two hours that's how it's meant to be yeah but then yeah. you know governments they've messed it up and they make all of these borders and stuff like that based on trade and commerce and the way people yeah. live make it easy like that the way they define time so that's the thing you need to remember is that it's um Every 15 degrees you go changes by an hour, okay? Yeah. So what you first need to do is to actually work out how many degrees are we changing by? So okay. how do we do that? Uh, minus uh, 110 from, uh, I mean 102 from 110 degrees. Yeah. So 110 degrees, zero, three, plus minus. One zero two degrees, fifty sixty. So it's seven degrees, seven minutes. Yeah. So we just do seven degrees, seven minutes, and that's about what half of fifteen degrees, right? Yeah. So that's going to be about half an hour. Right. So seven degrees over seven divided by 15 degrees or 15 yeah yeah so this is your change and then you divide it by 15 because it's 15 per hour and then that's going to be your answer so give that a go on your cal on your calculator and tell me what you get Six degrees, 30 minutes, 28 seconds, yeah. Yeah, so what's our answer? Bravo. Good. All right, we've uh, gone over Was the... there a... Sorry, sorry to interrupt. No, you carry uh, on, Karen. Was there a formula for this one? Uh, yeah. I mean, is there... A... It, it is what we just done here, so... Okay. Um, let, let me try if I can generalize it. Have I got a... one second? I might have it already. No, I don't have one written out but I can write it for you I'll try write it for you now so it's like so this is to do when you're converting between sort of local mean times yeah. and or just want to work out you know but it's based on your change in longitude right right so how would I write this let me, let me think uh, uh, starting time well yeah do you know what I mean by starting time yeah yeah plus or minus so that's what that means you know whichever way you're going then it's your change in longitude in degrees over 15 equals your you know your finish finishing time <laughs> or your end time i'll probably write that end time That's the way I sort of did it. And yeah, a, a very important thing to remember for this is that, you know, in the East, they're in the future. And in the West, they're in the past. The East is ahead, West is behind. If you would like this sort of help, please fill in the form in the description or send an email to approachatpl at gmail.com.